Alright, thanks for tuning in everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, go ahead and uh, give me that like. And then finally, make sure you ring the bell so that when I drop a new video, you get the notification. So today, I'm back in Tableau and I want to show you a, a technique here. So you ever create a bar chart? Again, this is percent of sales by state and I'm using standard Tableau Superstore data. And you know, you have to scroll here. Uh, you, you're really only interested in a, a certain um, a certain percentage of sales here, the top values, but you've got some stragglers here. So uh, let's say anything below two percent is a straggler, right? Right at the Georgia cutoff. Shout out to Atlanta, where I'm broadcasting not so live from. But if I wanted to show Georgia and then combine anything below two percent into an others bucket. How would I go about doing that? So I wanted to share this technique. This is a technique um, uh, shared by Ann Jackson. Uh, she presented this at the Tableau uh, conference for 2019 in a presentation called Zen Master Tableau Speed Tipping. So it's an hour long video. Uh, you can go check that out, but I pulled this out of there. I felt it could be most useful to me and the people that subscribe to this channel, so I decided to share. So I got to give a shout out and credit where credit is due to Ann Jackson. So let's let's show you here. Um, this is kind of what we're going to build, right? So you can see I have a threshold of 2%, and then everything below 2% is lumped together in this other bucket, and it comprises 24% of sales. And obviously I can, you know, this is parameter driven. So if I change that, right, um, again, this is uh, everything above 3% and everything below 3% is bucketed here. Let's say I move it up to, uh, to five, right? Uh, this will give me my top five states. And immediately I can see here that my top five states account for over 50% of my sales, right? Because other is, is 48%. So, so that's powerful without having to scroll down and look at uh, all of these different values. So let's get into how to build this. Just wanted to show you how it works for uh, first, sorry. And let's, let's get in how to build this. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag state to rows, right? And then we're gonna drag the sum of sales or just sales right to columns right and this gives me a a bar chart and I'm just gonna sort it a little bit here and we've got California down to uh, to North Dakota right and so we're gonna create a calculated field using an LOD I've used this in a number of videos uh, the name of that uh, what do I call it here uh, in my measures it is percent of total sales let's take a look at that and you'll see percent of total sales. What it's doing here is let's focus on the uh, the denominator first. All it's saying is sum, you know, take a sum of sales, right, for every state, right? Um, so that's what this fixed uh, LOD allows us to do. It just says, hey, ignore states and just just do a sum of sales, right, across every um, across every state. So that gives me a denominator that doesn't change. And then on the numerator, I just want a sum of sales um, you know, by state here. So if I drag that percent of total sales, um, let's go ahead and move that to um, uh, percent of total sales. Let's move that to, uh, to, let's move it to columns here so you can see, right? Um, so it looks pretty much like this is just um, sales and this is percent of total sales. It, lo it looks pretty much the same here. So now let's, uh, let's move our sum of sales. Let's move this down to detail. So we only, have, we only have one and you can see, boom, I've got the sales there and I got percent of total sales. So, okay. And let's put that on the label now, right? Um, let's go label, show mark label and allow okay i don't have to check allow labels to overlap so boom it gives me all of my uh my states here with their percent of uh, of sales so now we're going to create a parameter right so i already pre-created it right you know how to create a parameter um this is going to be the threshold parameter if i go in here right and I'm gonna create a threshold parameter. I named it threshold, it's a float data type. And the current value it has is a 0.05. Let's change this. It doesn't matter what you put in here. 
um, but I'm just going to start it out with uh, with one percent. You can play with the display format so it shows percentage if you want. I'm going to say OK. Right, I've already created it, and then I'm going to show the parameter control there. So now I can change this as need be. It's not going to affect uh, the viz quite yet. All right, um, let's uh, let's create a set. So in order to create a set, you know how to create a set. You, you can go here. Um, well, you can actually select state <laughs> if you wanted to and create and then go down the set, but I already have a set created. So let's take a look at it. Let's edit the set, right? And so what you want to do here is you want to go down to by formula, right? And then we're going to have our percent of total sales, right, that we just calculated. We want that to be greater than or equal to the threshold parameter, right, our percentage. So this is going to give us a true or false, or it's going to group all of the states that meet this criteria um, into its own set. So you're going to have in or out, right? It's either going to be in this set or out, right? And we're going to say OK here. So we have that set uh, created. So let's show the set. If I take um, uh, my set here and I can put it on color and you'll see, right, you'll see that the in out uh, of states above threshold um, these are out, these grays are out, and my blues are in, right? I could do the same thing. I could just take that and put that here, and you can see in, right, and out, right? I'm not going to leave that there. The color does the job for us, right? All right. Uh, now let's go ahead and uh, let's do a little, let's do a little uh, formatting. Now let's go ahead and create our calculated field that we need to show. Uh, on the viz. So I've created a calculated field called states for viz, right? So we're not going to use state here because that's just going to give us every state. We need to create a specialized calculation um, to put on the viz here. So let's take a look at it. All it's saying is if states above threshold set. So all it's saying is if our state is above the threshold. Again, this is going to return a true or false. I could do the same thing, right? This has the same effect, right? If I say um, if states above threshold equal true, right? I don't have to do that. I can just say if states above threshold set, then show the state. Otherwise, just show other. So if it's not in this set, show me other. Don't show me the state name, just show me other, right? Say okay here. And if I take that states for viz and I bring it up here, you'll see uh, this is states for viz, right? You'll see. Um, below the threshold that I've set, and I'm going to change this to um, uh, where is Georgia? Let's let's go 0 0.02, right? And you'll see now, um, right here at the cutoff, everything below Georgia is in other, right? In our states for viz, as compared to the state, which is just going to show you every state. And so if I drag out the state, you'll see I have that other. Um, all, all of those other states that do not meet the threshold are combined together. I can sort that. Um, it goes to the top. Let's go ahead and make this entire view. So how do I, hey, let's format, you know, you always got to uh, do some, some fun stuff here. So we're going to go to format uh, on the lines, and I believe that's the, the grid lines for columns, and I'm going to say no. Okay, so I just got rid of that. Uh, got rid of those grid lines there. Great. So so how do we get this at the bottom? This is great. It's here, but I don't want this to uh, to be the main uh, focal point of this viz. I want to take the other and, and drag it down to the bottom, right? So what we have to do is we have to create a calculated field, right, specifically for sorting. Um, and then if we go back here, let's go to, um, oh, no, sorry. Let's get rid of formatting here. And I want to look at sort calculation. All right, so I created a calculated field, states for viz sort, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at it. And let's take a look here, right? So if states for viz, right, is equal to other, then just show a negative number. I just put negative 9999. It doesn't matter, just make it negative, right? Because we're not gonna have negative sales, right? We're not going to have negative sales, so it's okay um, to give every other state that doesn't meet our threshold a negative number. 
So we're gonna say, you know, then 9999. Otherwise, show the sales, right? Say okay. Now, if I were to bring this, um, well, I shouldn't have gotten rid of that. Let's keep that here. <laughs> it's for this sort. Uh, let me just bring this in here. It's gonna go a little haywire. Uh, it's, gonna go, it's gonna go a little haywire there, but if I go to discrete, you'll see that other gets this huge value, this huge negative value, right? At whereas every other state gets its uh, sales. So I'm just gonna get rid of the um, uh, my sort, um, this guy right here, right? There we go. So I just wanna use that to sort by. So if I come in here and I say sort, um, nested sort, let's go with field, and then let's select our states for this sort, right? and I have that in descending, you'll see it moves down to the bottom here, right? So again, this, you know, this, this is very useful uh, to me. I can combine all of my, uh, my stragglers into one bucket. And so if you want, at this point, you can throw in a, a reference line. So we'll go here, we'll take a, a reference line, and I'm gonna uh, bring that up to, uh, uh, to table. Right, and then on the value, let's go ahead and put our parameter, and then for the label, let's go ahead and put the value, and then formatting, I want this to be, uh, let's make this dotted and red, right? So we have that, you see that that shows up, and so what happens if I change my threshold, right? Put in 5%, and it changes, right? So this is dynamic as well. Uh, one last thing, if you wanted to do here, you can play around with, um, you know, with the, with the coloring. So if I go in here to uh, edit the colors, I could make uh, my in white, and then I could make my out. Let's keep my out uh, uh, the same, right? And you'll say, oh, why, why'd you do that? Because now I can go in here and make the borders, make the border black. And then you'll see that I'm missing uh, the the end here. Let me go ahead and make this, uh, drag this out a little bit more, right? You'll see I'm missing that end. You, what you're gonna have to do to get this uh, to show up, you're gonna have to go in here to format. <coughs> and um, uh, if you go into, I believe it's not borders, the grid lines, and if you make the axis rulers, right? The axis rulers is covering that up. If you make it none, Right, you'll see I get those those lines here to complete this out. So uh, I'm just doing this to show you that uh, you know the reference line changes as you update as well. It moves a little bit uh, further. So, so you can go with this clean style or, or keep it the way uh, that it is. Um, what I've done is uh, on this version here, I just threw in some uh, some alerts, you know, some some emojis, you know, these checks here, OKs here above three percent and then uh, then X's, and then even on uh, uh, on Tableau Public, you'll see that the emojis show up a little bit, uh, you know, they show up a little bit different. They're gonna render a little bit different depending upon what browser you're looking at, and obviously, uh, So this is out on Tableau Public as well. Again, have to give a shout out to Ann Jackson for this technique, just wanted to share it here with you. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.